I'm very happy to present you today about how BASF certified biodegradable EcoVio is contributing to a circular economy. So when we talk about a circular economy, we have the consumer in the center. And what we heard about before now is the technical loop. We're having products which are at the end of their use phase being collected and then have to be reused, refurbished or recycled to then build the raw material for the production of new products. This can of course be done either by mechanical recycling or chemical recycling, depending on what's the most sustainable version. But beside that technical loop, we do have another loop on this planet, the nutrient loop, for nutrients like phosphate or nitrogen or carbon. This is equally important for us. So we're having our farming, our fresh foods, but also bio-based products, which are then used by a consumer, which need to be collected and be brought to, for example, composting, to bring those nutrients back to the agricultural fields. If we don't do that, we at some point come to the point where we have a depletion of nutrients and we are um, yet yeah, endangering our uh, production of fresh and renewable materials. So how does EcoVio promote that nutrient cycle? What can we do within that circle to also work for a sustainable and circular future? When we look at that, we do have agriculture products, like I told you which are then fresh foods for our, in our grocery stores, which we eat. We do have to collect our organic waste for an organic recycling, which is this essential step if you want to keep a circularity. And then we have the agriculture products being when you have the compost brought into the fields. First, I would like to tell you of how EcoVio can promote the transport and packaging. We heard before that the loss of food is a major threat to our uh, society, and we, if we lose our fresh food, this has a major impact on sustainability. So what can we do to prevent that loss? Intelligent packaging is one of the things that we can do with our current technologies. If you compare the shelf life, or for example, tomatoes, like in this case, if you have it in open storage and you compare that to a conventional bag, for example, you lose several days of shelf life. If you do that and having a bag, for example, a fruit and vegetable bag filled with these tomatoes, you can increase the shelf life of them. Why is that? It's a question of breathability and intelligent packaging. If you're having a breathable bag for a tomato, for example, you will have less mold. And if you're having less mold, you will secure the quality of your food. Of course, this is dependent on the bag and the tomato size. But nevertheless, if you come to it from a technology point, you can have a sustainable solution for packaging and preventing food loss. The next step is the organic waste collection. For a certified composted material like EcoVio, this was the original design and first purpose we served. It's essential to collect your organic waste instead of burning it or burning it to a landfill if you really want to have your nutrients in a loop and being brought back to agricultural fields. Here, for example, is just one study that we did where we had a project to compare how much uh, organic waste is collected by households with or without a bag to support such. If you don't have a bag, people tend to collect less in wintertime especially. If you offer them a bag together with a communication tool, you can dramatically increase the amount of organic waste collected from households. This is a study that we did in Berlin, but there are many studies all over the world, in Munich, but also in Italy, in Spain, which show that, yes, if you offer a certified compostable bag from EcoVio, the people collect more organic waste, and therefore you really do promote the, to close the nutrient circle. The last step I would like to tell you about is crop production. As Klaus Wittstock already told us, yes, we do have a product, how we can also offer a solution here. We know that with mulch films, you have very uh, prominent benefits in agriculture, such as more yield, but also more water usage. But if you're having a very thin polyethylene film, for example, it's very hard to not possible to recollect and recycle that. These are pictures taken in China, where very thin polyethylene mulch films have been used for several years, which leads to a dramatic pollution of soils. This soil pollution can be prohibited if you're having soil biodegradable ecovio to use for farming and mulching. How does that work? So what is the prerequisite for a mulch film? If it's supposed to be soil biodegradable, of course, it's 
biodegradation process. So now a little bit of chemistry and biology for you. Um, if you're having a biodegradation process, you're having a polymer. And this polymer, the big difference is has to be converted to carbon dioxide and biomass, leaving nothing less behind. And this process has to be done by microbes. So if you really want to make sure that you have a fully biodegradable and soil biodegradable mulch film, you have to show and prove that these are your only products. The carbon dioxide is what is measured also in standardization and certificates to prove that. Here, for example, is a curve, a mineralization curve, so the CO2 formation made from our mulch film EcoVOM in soil. You can see here that over time you have a conversion to carbon dioxide. The standards talk about two years, but in this case uh, our EcoVio mulch film was able to biodegrade even faster. The second product of our biodegradation is the so-called biomass. And we know that in our standardization it's not shown because it's technically not possible in a standardized way. Nevertheless, research from ETH Zurich was finally able to demonstrate that besides the carbon, di uh, carbon dioxide, the biomass is also formed. And we can really prove that using labeled carbon, that we do have a flow of carbon to carbon dioxide, but also to biomass to secure, yes, indeed, EcoVio mulch film is fully and truly soil biodegradable. So you see that within the different steps of the nutrient loop, EcoVio can offer a solution and contributes to closing that loop. Around the world, we have pilot projects to show the benefits of this product. You can see we have it in North America, for example, for packaging of peanuts. We have it in Catalonia with our fruit and vegetable bags used for composting. We're having mulch film program also in China, but also in India. And with this, I would like to thank you for your attention, and I'm very happy and glad that you had interest in EcoVio products. BASF. We create chemistry.